guys hope everyone is doing great this is my updated acrylic nail tutorial I've already filmed a how to nail prep tutorial before this one so go ahead and watch that I'll have the link down below in the description box the acrylic liquid I'll be using is INM's Utopia liquid monomer and the acrylic powder I'll be using is INM's out the door pristine pink you'll see how it looks like in a minute the brush that I love to use is an acrylic Kalinsky brush, round, is a size 16. Right here I'm showing you how I grab the liquid from the dappin dish. So I just basically make little swirly motions to make sure that I have enough liquid in my brush. And then I swipe it to the side once. Next I'm showing you how I pick up a bead. It's very hard to explain, you just kind of have to watch it and also if you don't know how to, you just really got to practice to make sure the ball isn't very wet and also not hard. So for my acrylic method, I do two to three balls. It depends how much I grab. So this is my first ball and I place it very close to the cuticle and I let it set. And also I point the finger down so I let the acrylic flow down and kind of do its job. Make sure you always point the finger down so that prevents the acrylic from running to the sides of the nails. My ball was a little too wet, but that's okay. I'm just gently swiping down like so. I don't want to leave the free age that thin, so I'm go I'm going to go ahead and pick up my second ball. And I'm going to place it on the free edge in the reverse method. Then I gently stroke up with my brush. This is also going to cover any um, little curves. It's going to fill in any curves or gaps that I had. And with the belly of my brush, I'm making sure that there's not excess acrylic on the sides of my nail tip. I swipe off any excess acrylic from the side and you don't want a flared out nail. Next I'm going to pick up my third ball and this ball is going to be smaller and I'm going to apply it near the cuticle area. I don't know how to explain but I like that curvy look near the cuticle and also I provide extra strength for the stress area. Then I gently stroke down with my brush, like so. And now you want to let your acrylic harden and dry all the way. The way you know it is dry, you have to tap on it with, you could tap on it with your nail file and once you hear a little clicking noise, it's ready to be filed and buffed. So next I'm going in with my uh, 100 course grit file. And this is the INM Solo Shaper. I'm filing the sides and also the free edge again. To get the perfect straight free edge, you want to file the tip up and down with your file. Next, you want to file the entire nail to make sure that everything is even. You don't want any bumps in the surface. You want to smooth everything out with your file. I like to perfect the acrylic near the cuticle area so I go in with my sanding bit medium grit and I just file it but you could totally do this with a hand file as well it's just the way I do it next I'm gonna be removing the excess dust with my little kabuki brush and I'm going to start buffing the nail what I do on my clients and on myself I like to use a cuticle oil and I use INM's premium oil and I apply this on on 10 nails before I start buffing. Usually their skin around their cuticles are looking pretty dry at this point so I just go ahead and moisturize with the oil and also it helps with buffing giving it a smooth look on the acrylic. Make sure you're buffing all over the nail don't skip any areas. 
Next, I'm going to sanitize the nail and just spray some alcohol and clean the surface with a lint-free wipe. And that concludes my acrylic nail tutorial. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section. I love to read you guys' comments. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be uploading another tutorial next week. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.